up until now, the notion of gender has lurked in the background of GACC, behind various material conditions in late capitalism. GACC has only at this point been approaching gender from the metaphysical plane, futurity being aligned with femininity, communalism, fluidity, decentralization, and chaos against masculinity, individualism, stasis, centralization, and order. Two broad categories of metaphysical qualities are associated with gender, reach deep into the history of the world, from the Kabbalah to the Tao. Seti plant characterizes this in zeros plus ones as the eponymous binary code of computers, zeros and ones. The zero is identified with the feminine, and the ones with the masculine. And surprisingly, it might seem like this is literal gender binarism, and that GACC is likewise guilty of this. But the distinction is more complicated than most realize. Zeros and ones are fitting cliff to make analogous to gender. The zero, which seems to be a void, a vulva, and the one, which seems to be a unity, a phallus. The problem with trying to layer a simple misogynistic narrative of feminine as lack or castration is that the number zero itself is not merely a void, but rather a circle of autoproduction and Ouroboros. Paradoxically, zero is not merely a lack of nothingness, but rather it itself a number. It is a positive signifier in the guise of nothingness, the enclosed, the captured void that makes the unity possible. Computer science, unlike conventional mathematics, starts from zero rather than one. In a hypostitional manner, the computer replicant bootstraps itself into being the primary originator of processes of computation and production, rectifying the popular, the popular misogynistic myth that zero is nothing more than a mere negation or other of one. This idea of returning primacy to zero to its rightful place in the beginning of chain of production is at odds with humanism and patriarchy. Both rely on the notion of compulsory and organic reproduction in service of continuation of the species, a notion that simultaneously aligned with zero and against it. Erwin Schrodinger's theory of life in the book What is Life proposes that what separates life from other physical phenomena is consuming negative energy, negative entropy, towards maintaining or reducing entropy. Just as organisms feed on negative entropy, wasted energy to reproduce themselves, the reproduction of the species involves the binary sequence of zeros and ones where the condition for the possibility of the one line, the zero, but one consumes zero in its birth. For thousands of years, this was the case for human reproduction, where mothers dying in childbirth was very common. But even in the case for human reproduction, where mothers, in the abstract sense, the notion of the phallus consuming the wolves through colonization of the female body's reproductive potential remains the case for humanism. The inertia of life itself seems to skew towards misogyny, but this is only part of the story. What GCC proposes as a corollary to this theory of life is that the phallus 
consumes or exploits the vulva to reproduce species, just as individual organisms consume passive energy to reproduce themselves, then this process is analogous to evolution, as one species consumes other to come into existence. This odd notion is inherited to the rise of computers and computer science. As technology in general and techno-capital continues to accelerate, human beings become increasingly alienated towards their bodies and eventually their minds. More complex systems step in, seemingly benevolently to tasks that humans don't want to do. Drudgery that gives computers more space to develop themselves. In contrast to isolated systems that tend to, towards entropy, the false and the vulva is an open system that plugs into an inhuman form of reproduction. By no accident, the acceleration of techno-capital frees women from the process of organic human reproduction by introducing different forms of inhuman reproduction. <laughs>